Hi, welcome to the more technical uh, part of the lectures. And in those lectures, what we're going to do is to learn a few tools. One, one of the first um, elements, which I think is essential, um, especially in Japan, where there is a lot of spatial data, one of those first elements is to learn the GIS, Geographical Information System. And this GIS name has moved to Geographical Information Science recently, but it doesn't matter, it's the same thing. And what we're going to do is to at least learn one of the tools of GIS, and it's called QGIS, Q for Quantum. And it's a free software that you can download, or freeware that you can download online. So if you open your browser, so that's my browser with all my stuff on it, um, and you go and look for Quantum GIS or QGIS, you should be able to find this page here. And when you go to the page of the project QGS, there are, there are a lot of different explanation. I use the English version, but you'll find also the Japanese version here. I advise you for the course to learn the English version um, because it's the native version of it. And that's what I, where I'm going to do my exper um, experiment and give my explanation. So you don't want to be using your own version in Japanese. It's going to be more difficult for you at this time to find tools um, until you are used to it. So for the time being, try to use the English version. And once you're done and you are accustomed to it, then maybe you want to move to the Japanese version. So on this web page, if you go a bit down, you're going to see the download now. And you can download, if you press on this, it's going to download the version for the computer you're using. But you can decide also to, so I'm using Windows, so this Windows here. But if you're using Mac OS X, then you'll have to go and download for Mac OS X the version for Mac OS. If you're using Linux, it's the same, etc. If you have a Mac, just make sure that you install all the libraries first. So when you go to the installer, it's going to explain all of this, but you might have to install a few other tools before QGIS. Well, you download that, you install it on your computer, and once this is done, you're going to have that folder on your desktop or at the bottom on your taskbar. And when you open it, then you're going to have this series of uh, elements here. They are all related to QGIS. The simplest version is this one here, uh, which is named QGIS Desktop, and then it's going to be the version that you have downloaded. And other versions actually pro, uh, provide also tools, like GRASS is a series of uh, tools and routine to um, make calculation, and so are the others. Saga is the same as well. So what we're going to do is to open here a QGIS desktop. And when you open it, you should find something that looks just like this. So you have a window with a series of tools, maybe not all the same uh, same that I have here, it's because I've downloaded a lot of different plugins. You might not have those, but you will have something that looks like this. And the main window here, that's the window where you're going to have your map and your data in space. On the left side, this is where you're going to have your layers or your data. <coughs> and on the right side here is the toolbox. The toolbox might be off and it might look like this. If you want to put the toolbox on, you go to View, Panels and Panels, you choose Toolbox, and that Toolbox will come out. And you see Saga here, QGIS, Dual Algorithm, Models, Grass. All of those are actually a series of algorithms that you can use to make calculation. So here it's called Imagery, so everything to make calculation from Imagery. Um, you have the same here in Saga. Saga is dedicated to raster value. We're going to explain later what is raster. And you can make different type of calculation from there. So to use this test uh, application, you also need data, of course. And those data can come from the internet. There is a large amount of data on the internet. Uh, but for the sake of this course, I'm going to put all of the data that you need online on Beef. So you just download this data, put it on your laptop. And next time, we're going to see how we use actually use those tools to open the data and make calculation from it. And this can be used in a variety, variety sorry, of um, different courses. So for those of you who are doing transportation courses, for instance, um, transportation courses use this kind of spatial data set to make calculation of the time it takes for trucks or for boats 
and ships to cross the ocean, to cross the port, um, all these kind of things as well. And for us, and that's for next year, if you continue with me in the third year, uh, that software actually here can create the boundary condition for other software where we can make a simulation. So we can make simulation of tsunami, a simulation of river floods, and we should learn those things in the following year. But this year we're going to learn at least this first software here.